It looks like beach season is about to strike this weekend. We're expecting increasing avalanche hazards, so we thought we'd give a quick rundown of what to expect for the weekend. Let's start with a brief look at our March history. Just to put the warm-up in context, you can see in mid-March we did see a pretty significant warm-up with highs reaching into the mid-40s. This is from Gothic's weather station at 9,500 feet. Then pretty cool through the rest of the month. And then last weekend, again, we saw temperatures rising into the low 40s. So this won't be the first warm-up of the season. Uh, and that'll help soften the blow from what's coming ahead. But this looks to be the warmest and most significant warm-up of the season so far. Here's a multi-model forecast for Gothic. And you can see today, models were pretty spot on. We saw highs rising to the mid to upper 40s. And then tomorrow, rising to 50. Saturday and Sunday, potentially rising even into the mid 50s. And by Friday night or Saturday night, those low temperatures are only dropping into the, looks to be about mid to low 30s. So not a great refreeze. The most obvious instability will be those wet loose avalanches like we've been seeing all month. We're starting to see them spread onto northerly aspects now and expect that pattern to continue and expand with this weekend's warming temperatures. We also could see wet loose avalanches gouging deeper with those poor refreezes, in which case we'll see larger and more destructive wet loose avalanches, kind of like this slide that came down off of Gothic last week. Wet slabs will be on the radar again, especially with those poor refreezes we're expecting over the weekend. We know we've got some poor structures out there that continue to produce propagating results. And when we start to see water infiltrating towards these weak layers, we could see natural failures on those. All right, Kindler just gave us a great heads up about the warmth that's coming this weekend. One thing he summarized was the wet avalanche concerns, right? That might be loose wet avalanches or wet slab avalanches. Something else that we're worried about with the warming is these big old mamas falling down on us. Uh, so cornice falls. We've seen a number of cornice falls recently occur and with the continued warming in through the weekend, we're worried about more of these things. You do, definitely do not want to get steamrolled by one of those things. And they can release a large slab avalanche below them because it's like throwing a thousand pounds of dynamite on the slope when those things go crashing down. So another problem you get to manage this weekend. Remember, with rapidly warming temperatures this weekend, we're going to see a rise in avalanche danger that's going to be highly dependent on how warm it gets. So stay tuned to cbavalanchecenter.org, check that weather and forecast, and get out early this weekend. Frozen ocean! <laughs> Yo! <Yum. Woo. laughs> That's so good. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> You're gonna need it.